<coughs> Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Yeah, we got it. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We will get started in just a minute. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're busy as a bee. Triple as a cricket. Steady as a clock. Standing on the rock. Hello, Gina, Christy, Bonnie. What's up? Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We will get started in just a minute. Camera may be a little crooked. Day one, yes, in the beginning, God created, doing a new thing, yes, yes, indeed, hello, hello, Kim, my, not old, but my old friend, all right, I'm trying to get this camera situated, we'll get better each time, hey, everybody, yep. Look at me staring, there I am. It's about a five second delay, yeah. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started. Um, I know most of you know me, my name's Travis Martin. I've lost more than 100 pounds with the Shibola lifestyle. I've come off all prescription medications, high blood pressure medicine, acid reflux medicine, uh, high cholesterol medicine, and type two diabetes medications. So the program's changed my life and it'll change yours. Our members have lost and recorded, recorded losing millions of pounds and inches. You can do the same thing. It's just a mindset change. We are not a diet. Can y'all hear me okay? Let me know you can hear me. I'm using the uh, best equipment I got here. Y'all hear me good? Make sure that you can hear me. Yep, got a thumbs up, good deal. So, um, losing weight is a mindset change. And what we need is a practical, sustainable, and fun lifestyle. And that's what Shibboleth is. It's not a diet. The first three letters of the word diet spell die. Anything we start with and we can't stay with forever is just a waste of our time. We want something that's sustainable. Everything that we need comes from our local grocery store. Now, there may be other things that we want, but everything we need comes from our local grocery store. And today is day one of several things here on Planet Shibboleth. Today is day one of the 40-day wellness revival. Why are we putting this extra effort into it? Well, we believe this is a new year. We believe all the old things have passed away and we are dedicating the program, the members, everything we teach unto God. We really believe that the Holy Spirit is going to bless this year and we're going to keep Jesus first. And if we'll keep Jesus first in our eating lifestyle, in our exercise regimen, if we just honor the Lord and honor one another uh, each and every day, the Lord is going to favor us. We're going to be blessed. 
Uh, it, we will actually see, I believe this, we'll actually see supernatural progress as it relates to our fitness. I believe that with my entire being. I believe what takes man alone a lot of time to do, if he can ever do it at all, uh, if you commit it unto the Lord, it can happen like that. God, God is a supernatural God. And uh, we can walk in the supernatural, supernatural and we can believe as long as we're trying our best to live right, trying to do the right thing each and every day. And that's what we're going to start each and every class with and or end it with. And that's God's word. Now, this session, I don't want you to get it twisted. I'm limited in what I can do in this small room as we start talking about exercise today. These sessions that we're going to have for a season, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m., uh, it's more for me to teach you, based upon your fitness level, where to begin as it relates to exercise. That's what these are about. It, you're not going to be able, in, at the 7 a.m. hour, to get a vigorous, sweaty workout in. Uh, you've got, uh, the, now I guess there are videos on demand, you've got DVDs and things like that, or you've got the gym. That's not what we're doing we're trying to get people who haven't exercised acclimated to exercise. Uh, understanding based upon your fit level uh, where to start, uh, where, where to try to progress to. You know, that's what these sessions are about. Introducing to you uh, certain exercise uh, apparatuses. We'll always be using our stretch a minute. That's how I start my day. In many days, that's how I end my day. Um, we'll have to get better on Wednesday about the camera work and the camera angles. But I hope that you can use these sessions, whether you're doing them live with me or you're doing them recorded, to get some ideas, to take some notes, to come up with an exercise philosophy and regimen that works for you. We know that the Bible tells us that bodily exercise profits little, just a little. It's godliness that profits in all things. And when we talk godliness, we're talking about discipline and we're talking about restraint. If we're dealing with being overweight, excess body fat, somewhere along the way, we let our flesh get out of hand. And our flesh has been running the show, right? Your flesh has been running the show and your flesh can destroy your life before dinner, okay? Okay. So the first thing that we've got to do on day one, whether we're detoxing, we'll talk about all that, whether we're detoxing, whether we're doing the 40-day uh, wellness revival, regardless of what we're doing, we've got to get our flesh under wraps. We've got to get the flesh following the spirit. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Uh, probably needed a whiteboard, but I got a little chalkboard here. And I, I write on the chalkboard more so to keep me uh, on top of my thoughts so that I don't become redundant. But we've been talking a lot about how we are triune beings. We're triune, right? We've got, uh, just like there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. These three are one and they always agree. I really believe that a lot of us, we've gotten, we've gotten off the path because we don't realize that when we look in the mirror, we're not one complete person. We're, we're three in one, and our three entities aren't agreeing with each other. So you've got your mind, and that represents God the Father, right? That's a type and a shadow of God the Father, the Godhead, right? We're not God. I'm not saying that. We worship God, but God has created us in his likeness and image, and, and this mind chooses daily who's going to lead the way. The body of flesh, okay, Christ, he came. And, and in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. And he, he became flesh, the Word did, and dwelt among, amongst us. So this flesh is, is part of this overall picture that you see and you call Travis so you've got the mind, the flesh, and then you've got the spirit, okay? 
The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This mind, let's get the, let's already, let's, you know, how many classes have you been in with me to hear people say, would you get on with it? When you start talking about the thing that can really help us, we want to move away from that. And then we wonder year after year after year why we're not making any progress with our body weight or with our fit level or our wellness. It's because we're not putting first things first. Each and every day we've got to let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. And part of the fruit of the Spirit, if we walk in the Spirit, is discipline. But we have to choose. Now, how do we know which one of these is going to lead the way? The flesh or the spirit? It's whichever one we feed. So we've got to feed our spirit. And what happens is this flesh, it doesn't like to submit to the spirit. The flesh is all about instant gratification. It's all about couch sitting. It's all about Netflix. It's all about Cheetos. It's not about the things of God. But if the mind says, no, we're going to follow the spirit, the anointing that knows all things, this flesh has to submit to the authority of the spirit in just a little while where discipline's painful at first, then later it's not painful, but it even brings peace to the flesh. We get these three agreeing in one. All right, so before we get into some exercise ideas I want to read for you in the book of Joshua chapter 6. If you want to join with me, by the way, make sure that you spark up. If you want to do coffee, something, you want to get the you want to get those amino acids though hitting that brain, get some focus, get some clarity. Boom. Okay, so Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6. This, I think this might be helpful to some of us because we're starting a new year. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho. Now let's for a moment, even though Jericho here represents the world, I'm going to use this out of, out of context. This is not what it means. But let's say Jericho, we're going to take Jericho. Let's say that equals our, the weight loss that we want, the ideal weight range for a moment. And the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And you shall compass the city, all you men of war, and go around about the city once, thou shalt do six days. And later we'll find out that he told them while they're going around the city not to make a sound. Okay, remember that. Not to make a sound. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of rams. Now, they're taking the ark, which is the Ten Commandments, Aaron's rod that budded, blossoms and almonds, and the golden pot of manna. All of that representing eternal life, God's providence, and his commandments. Now think, they're, they're, they're honoring God. They're being holy. They're going around the city once for six days, and they're not making a sound. Stay with me. And it shall come to pass that when they make a law... Uh, let me go back. And seven priests shall bear... Before the ark, seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day they shall compass the city seven times. Then there's seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast, with, now they're making noise, with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall do what? They shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. <clears throat> when we hear this preached and taught on, there's always emphasis <clears throat> placed on the shout. They shouted, and the walls came down. There's not as much emphasis usually on the six days that they compassed the city with not a sound. 
So here's what I want to give you and something for you to think about. We've got to put the work in. We've got to put the work in. And it's not about making the sound. We'll get to make the sound when we get on those scales and we have the victory. But right now, the real work is not making a sound. Doing what we're supposed to do day after day. And, you know, we get on those scales and we the sound that we make often is grumbling and complaining. We don't need to grumble. We don't need to complain. We need to do the work. We didn't get in this condition overnight and we're not going to get out of it. And we got in this condition by not being holy. Yes, the Spirit's holy, but this flesh, this body of flesh, it makes excuses and we're not following after the commandments that honor God and honor ourselves and honor one another and keeping quiet and just doing the work. We get to complaining. Uh, I mean, we act like God owes us something after we have vandalized our temple. Do you, do you understand? It's going to take some humility. We can't feel entitled. We have been eating and overindulging and feeding the flesh for so long, then all we want to do is grumble and complain as we're, as we're doing the work that we need to do. If we'll stop grumbling and complaining and we'll start thanking the Lord and praising the Lord that we've even got this opportunity that we have, we will be so blessed, y'all. This journey, we won't have to do it on our own. We'll be blessed indeed. But it's about the work. We've got to put the work in. If you have faith, then we'll do the work. And it's not hard work, y'all. It's not. We're going to talk about the exercise shortly. But don't forget, all of that exercise, all the exercise in the world, you cannot exercise enough to overcome a bad diet. You can't do it. It's about... It really is more about what you put in your temple uh, than, it, than it is the activity. You, can't exer you cannot exercise enough to overcome a bad diet. Gyms are flooded right now. Gyms are flooded. Every year, though, not quite as flooded as the year before. But, but they do. People start coming, I'm going to exercise. And then, after they exercise... They're feeling good and they feel like that they can reward themselves with more food. How many times do you see people that go to the gym and then they lose all of their weight? You don't see it very often, do you? It's because there's no restraint. The exercise feels good, but then we want more feel good and we go reward ourselves. The exercise that you do that we're going to talk about does not require you eating more. If you go to a trainer, they'll often tell you, oh, you are not going to have very much energy. You're not eating enough. I don't know about you, but that's just what a big boy wants to hear. That's what I used to want to hear. I remember when I lost about 40 of my 100, I went to a trainer because I felt like I had loose skin. And the trainer said, you're not eating enough. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Let me, let me get strong. And then I would go to eating that calorie surplus again and all those fat cells would start popping like gremlins again. You don't need to eat more. The kind of activity we're talking about is the kind that will help you shed body fat, but you don't need to put in more fuel. We're eating enough. That Look, you cannot... You cannot put on muscle and lose body fat at the same time. If, as long as we do these sessions... You'll probably hear me say that more than anything else. You cannot lose body fat and put on muscle at the same time. It's a season. you got to choose your goal. The body, it biologically, it doesn't work that way. You're either in a calorie surplus, you're in a calorie deficit. You only can put on muscle with a calorie surplus. We're wanting to preserve muscle and lose the fat. And, and there's a certain way we eat. We don't eat more to do that. We use the muscle. Use it or you'll lose it. And we preserve it with amino acids. That's what we do. And, and that's the kind of things we want to talk about. More than the exercise, 
You need to get in that water. You need to journal. Make sure today you journal. It's day one. It doesn't take long to journal. We want to eat in the right combinations or we want to eat off of one of our meal plans. By doing that, we're controlling the fat bus. Insulin is a growth hormone. So if you don't control the growth hormone, you're going to grow. Then you've got to control your portions. We're eating up to three times a day or less. Breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, and dinner for the Holy Spirit. If you have a four feeding episode, that's for you. Okay? That's for that mental weakness that I might have. But if I can keep it at three or less and I can control my portion on a six to eight inch plate, if you're eating hot dogs, hamburgers, or sandwiches, it's one right now because you're trying to lose. But otherwise, that recipe or whatever you're having, that combination is on a portion control plate or you're having a meal replacement. If you'll do that up to three times a day and no more than that, watch your ideal weight times eight. That should be your calories. You'll be always in a calorie deficit. And then you've got to watch your timing, okay? I want you to get a 12 to 16 hour fast every single day. Like right now, I've got like three more hours before I can eat. I'm going for a 16 hour fast. That gives my digestive system plenty of time to get through two or three phases of digestion of my last meal, not even full digestion. It takes 12 to 36 hours to fully digest most meals. So it's likely that what I ate last night or uh, yesterday for dinner is still not fully digested. I don't need anything right now. My goal is to lose body fat. Now, I'm not suggesting that you start with a 16-hour fast. I set my timer, and I'm just not going to eat. When, when I hear that little bit of a rumble, that's good news. I love it. That's them fat cells screaming and crying, and they going away. That's my metabolism kicking in. And I've got a hemi in there. Y'all know what that commercial is? It's a hemi. I've got a hemi in there. And I'm a burning that fat. I've built my metabolism. And you can do it the same way I did it, with consistence, persistence, and diligence. The small things done repeatedly over and over will lead to a big result. It doesn't matter your gender. It doesn't matter your age. Nutrition works for everybody. So a 12 to 16 hour fast. For optimization, you're spreading your meals out four to six hours, but it's unnecessary if you're getting the right fast time. I'm not going to eat till my timer says I can eat. Cheers. All right, let me see if you got any questions now. I don't know why I got mothballs in my mouth. <laughs> hemi, it's a hemi. All right. Okay, so we're going to talk about a few types of exercise. I'm going to use the stretch a minute, and I'm going to show you how I stretch it out. Usually while I'm, you know, I'm not on camera, again, we're using this more as helping you put together your own, your own routines. You're going to find a routine that works for you that's invigorating. That's what we're trying to do. Then you'll do that. You can do it with me in this session, especially if you're new. But as you get in a little shape, you're, you're going to want to spend 20 to 30 minutes really getting vigorous exercise in. Uh, if you can see, I've got a rower over here. I've got exercise equipment. I've got kettlebells. You know, I'm going to get a vigorous workout in. It's hard to do that when you're teaching. But here we can put in a, a structure so that you can start coming up with a routine that you love. And by the way, exercise, having your spark, awesome. Exercise should be something that you look forward to. It shouldn't be something, I know the trainer says work out until failure, but you won't do that very long. If you get so sore that you're walking around like a T-Rex, you know what I mean? Have you ever done that? You, especially guys will do it. You're walking around like this for days because you worked out so much and, and there's so much lactic acid, you're, you're like T-Rexing. 
We don't want to do that. We won't want to keep exercising. We want it to be vigorous. We want the endorphins to flow, the dopamine hit to come. It's going to make us feel good so that we look more forward to doing it. And one of the things I want you to do, if you're a partner or if you're a Faithfully Fit member, use your extra, your progressive exercise system. In the beginning, as we're coming up with a routine, we want to exercise around this, right? Stay with me. If your goal is to lose fat, we want to walk. We can do that anywhere. We get our heart rate up to that target heart rate zone. Uh, there's a formula that we use to get it up there and keep it. And that's you get in efficient fat burning mode and nothing works as well as walking. You don't hear that much about it as a fat burning resource or tool because it ain't sexy and you don't need to buy anything to do it. But we want everybody here to go for 70,000 steps this week. Let's go for 70,000. How many of you will go for that? You don't, if you don't, if you're new to walking or you can't walk, we're not talking about you, but how many of you will start trying for 70,000 steps? Now realize every 10 steps, you're burning like 25% of one calorie. That's coming from excess body fat. How many of you will join me? 70,000. I want to hear you say it. 70,000. We got to put the effort in. You're already getting in efficient fat burning mode. Let's get, you know, and you can multitask. Yesterday when I was getting steps, uh, I had a, a PlayStation down there on the treadmill and, and I turned it on and I played Jeopardy. And it's like, you know, boom, there was 5,000 steps just like that. So let's go for 70,000. If you can't get it, if you get 20, that's fine. Next week, we'll go for 25. And if you're following Shibboleth, you're getting in EFB and you're burning the fat. Burn, baby, burn. Hunk of chunks got to go. And that walking does that. So we're going for 70,000. We're not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. If you say, Travis, I can't. I hurt so bad. Uh, I, I can only get, I can't get no steps. Baloney, you're still alive if you have to use your your uh, walker to go to the, the mailbox and back, mailbox and back, the life and health of the flesh is in the blood. If we get the blood flowing again and the good nutrients that's in the blood going to the tissue, then we'll be toner, our energy will come back, life and health will come back to us. It's never too late, but you've got to have a vision where in here, like if you look in the mirror, and, and you're disabled and you're struggling, you may give up on yourself. That flesh does that. But if you can see with an eye of faith what your life is going to look like, see, God already knows what that looks like. You may be off the path towards your destiny, but God had a good plan for you, a good ending for you. But you have to choose. Your mind has to choose. Can't do, the flesh is can't do. The spirit is can do, okay? It's like uh, Dolly Parton's favorite story was the little engine that could. I heard her say that the other day, the little engine that could. You know, we've got to humble ourselves like a little child. We can do this, but we want to start with walking. Then, if you're a faithfully fit member or partner, you have an exercise section. There's several exercises where you test. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment but where you test and see where your fit level is and it gives you a progressive system on what your workout should be. It's awesome. So you got to try that if you're a partner or faithfully fit member. In no time, you'll see so much more tone come to your chest, uh, to your arms, you, to your legs. If you'll do that progressive exercise system and it's the basics, I want you to start we're going to do a little bit of it today with push-ups, leg raises, and body weight squats. This is all it takes, y'all. Yeah, we'll, you know, in coming days, we'll do more stuff. We'll do some uh, roof is on fire exercise. We'll do some fun stuff that I can show you 
that you can work into your routine, but all you need is good eating, good, good nutrition, and to get that walk in, push-ups, leg raises, body weight squats. Look what we accomplished. Upper body, abdomen, core, lower body. That's all we need to do to get in decent shape, y'all. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to go to the body plex to get in decent shape, okay? All right, so we're going to talk stretch a minute. I'm going to have to move this thing around. How's everybody doing? You picking up on anything to get you through the day? So I've got my stretch a minute. If you don't have a stretch a minute, then let me move this around. If you don't have a stretch a minute, then get you a towel. We'll do it with a towel. You just won't have the positive feedback in the timer. So I'm going to get back here. I've got to get a different camera stand. So when I get the camera stand, then it won't be so weird. All right. Okay. So I'm coming back here and watch my fan too. So this is a stretch a minute device. Okay. This is your stretch a minute and you can extend it or you can shorten it. The shorter it is, the more intense the stretch. Now, why do I love this thing so much? I can get a strength workout with it, but I can always get a good stretch with it in the morning. You need the stretch. Please don't throw rocks. I'm 53. The average age of our member is like early 50s. And we need to be focused more on flexibility and core strength than we do having big arms. If we Look, if you didn't do that, uh, if you didn't get real muscular uh, when you were younger, uh, it ain't too late if you want to take drugs, but it's too late. We need to reset some things, and we need to work on core strength. We need to work on flexibility because our muscles tend to tighten and shorten, and we need to keep them flexible and elongated, okay? We, we want to be pliable, and, and that way you won't suffer. If you'll start this today, 10 years from now, you won't have to worry as much about falling down and breaking a hip. You won't have to worry about it. You'll, you'll get those tendons, those ligaments. You'll get them stronger, the stabilizer muscles stronger. This little device does it all. Now, you can use a towel or stretch strap but people don't hold their stretches uh, for an adequate amount of time and it doesn't do any good. There was study after study done on this. It was a chiropractor that created it that I met 15 years ago at an expo and uh, I got the device, never looked back. He went on to bigger and better things and we got the rights to the device. But now that this device, because of the supply chain issue during COVID, We'll never get, be able to get any more. When these are gone, they're gone forever. Uh, Tosasa, we should charge quadruple, but I don't want to do people like that. This, is going, this, this device is one of a kind. There's a patent on it, and there's most likely never going to be any more, and we're getting down low. So if you want one, you better get one. So... The reason I take it everywhere with me, and I've got like 10 of them because I don't want to be out until the day that I die, until the day I'm called the other side of glory, is that it helps me hold my strength movements and my stretches for adequate amount of time, and it gives positive feedback. So when I hold it taut like that, it beeps. Now, in 10 seconds, it's going to go beep, beep. In 30 seconds, it's going to go beep, beep, beep all the way to a minute, and then I've, I've held a stretch statically the right amount of time. Now, we want to start with 30 seconds and then work up to a minute with our stretches. So I, I can't stand up because of the camera, but I would normally be standing up and I would do good mornings. Is it, has anybody got their towel or their stretch a minute? Are, are you ready? We're going to do some stretching and we're going to thank God Going to praise God, I'll fly away, oh glory. It's too early for that one. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Boom.
Boy, what we do to help y'all, I tell you. All right, so we're going to do some good mornings, and I hope that you've got a prayer on your heart and in your mind. Let's don't go to God. If you've got some anointing oil, anoint yourself. Anoint yourself, okay? I'm in a good place right now in life. I feel like my head and my heart and my hands are clean. If you've got, and I know this is different. I know it's different. If you've got unrepented sin and, and you're not at willful sin in your life and you haven't dealt with it, now's a good time to start talking to God and, and, and just, you know, getting that right. He wants you to get it right. He wants to love on you today, but he's not going to listen to your other prayer requests and he's not going to fellowship with you if you've got willful sin. He's clean, you see. He's holy. He's not going to put up and fellowship with somebody that's a dishonorable vessel. It's not that it's it's okay. We're gonna fall short of the mark, and Jesus stands in the gap, but you can't be doing that willingly. And now's a good time to go to him with thanksgiving and praise. That's what we're doing. If we're doing it out loud, if we're doing it in our head, I like to do it out loud because then the enemy can hear it too. And I don't know about you, but I've got an assignment on my life. And the enemy's trying to thwart me every time I turn around. And the only way to get rid of the enemy, he's not omniscient. He don't know what I'm saying in my head and my heart. The enemy has to hear it out loud. So if you're by yourself or not, it's a good time to speak the words of God out loud. Okay? While you're stretching, think about that. You're just living. You're inviting God into... This is a type of worship almost, right? So we're, we're talking to God, and we're going to start with a good morning. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to lift toward heaven, right? And I'm stretching. I've had my spark, and then I'm just going to keep reaching, uh, uh, reaching up. And it started beeping, okay? It started beeping, and I'm going to wait for 10 seconds. I'm going to stretch. I'm not thinking about my task, I'm thinking about the Lord. And it beat. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to reach to the right. And I'm just going to reach and just keep trying to reach further. In my mind's eye, I'm going to see myself reaching so high. You know that guy from the Fantastic Four, the stretch guy? I'm going to visualize stretching higher and higher. Oh, that feels good. And then I visualize myself being able to get a little more flexible each time. Reaching a little further. What I can see in my mind's eye, I can achieve. So I'm reaching as high as I can. Oh, and I, I got my minute in right there, right? Whew, so I got, I got my minute in. How many of you felt a little burn if you're doing this with me? Did you feel a little burn? Did you feel a little blood flow getting going? Feels good, right? So normally I wouldn't be talking to you. I'd be talking to the Lord. When I do my real routine today, I'd be talking to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. God inhabits our praise. You're looking for God in your situation and circumstance. You need the enemy to get gone. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. You'll find that I used to just beg him for everything. Now I'm finding I don't, I, by the time I get through thanking him and praising him, it's done. I don't even need to ask nothing, right? He already knows what I have need of. Now, we're going to stretch our rotator cuffs and our shoulders. You can take a towel. I'm taking the handle and I'm reaching around like this. The shorter, the better the stretch. And it just be, and I'm pulling that tricep. Stretching my tricep, my shoulder. It beat. Now I'm pulling this one up behind. Now I'm getting my rotator cuff and my shoulder. And I keep trying to slow. Do it slow. You'll hurt yourself. Do it slow. Okay. Coming back down. At my experience level, I really want to work on these rotator cuffs. Those are weak areas for most people. So I'm working on the rotators.
I can feel it too. It's sore in there. Pulling a little bit higher this time. Got it. Now I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it. Here I go. Oh, that one's even tighter. That's my right one. That makes sense, right? That makes I can't even get this arm all the way up. It's, that shoulder's really tight. Stretching this tricep. It beat. Getting a little higher this time. Praise the Lord. I'm thinking about some things right now. Miss Brenda and Jim, they're struggling. Miss Brenda's really struggling, having to take Jim to the emergency room. She asked for prayer. Got it. Okay. Whew. Now, just kind of uh, getting those circles going so that my rotators, I get that blood flow to my rotator cuffs. Those are weak areas. But yeah, I feel okay, good. Now, the next thing I wanna do is a good chest stretch. So I'm putting this behind my back. I'm grabbing my nunchucks and then I'm, I'm gonna pull it tight and I'm just gonna do this, stretch my chest. I'm gonna open up the chest cavity I'm gonna hold this one for 30 seconds. So you, you can take a break and then do it another 30 if you have time. I don't wanna do what I'm doing here though. I wanna hold it. I got my 30 seconds there. You probably wanna get a good minute. Okay, now I wanna stretch my hamstrings out. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me too good. Let me get over here. Might have to lay this way. Let's see. I'm gonna yell at you. I'll get a better camera angle next time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pull this, I'm gonna have to make this a little longer. I have really tight hamstrings. Now, what I want to do is put this over my foot. If you have a large towel, you can pull this off or a stretch strap. This is the one I like the best. If you've got sciatica, this is really going to help because a lot of your back problems are because of, of a weak core and tight hamstrings and glutes. This is going to really do a great job of stretching out the hamstrings and loosening up those lower back muscles. You'll see my legs shaking because it feels so good. Over time, you want to shorten your stretch strap so you can get a better stretch. Next. This is the side that I have really bad sciatica. Nothing helps like this stretch.
Okay. There's, there's a lot of stretches that we can do with this. And we'll do more next time. Um, and usually, just to give you like the set the setting, I can't do it because I'm on Facebook, but usually I've got some uh, worship music without lyrics playing. I've got the diffuser going. I've got my Bible out in between stretches. I'm reading some stuff. I'm telling you, it will just set the tone for your entire day. You can get this routine done in 20 minutes. We're talking but it's a great way to start your day, especially if you're getting your coffee in or your amino acids through your spark or whatever. All right, so we're going to do a couple of exercise movements now. Now that we've gotten partially stretched, there's other movements, but now we're going to do a little, we're going to do something for the upper body, the core, and the lower body. Is everybody still with me? Is this helping? Is this giving you some ideas? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Allison. All right, let's take this. And here's what we're going to do. Get ready. Now, I'll, I'm giving you ideas. I want you to do this more than just one round. Okay? All right, watch this. So, we're coming back here. Everybody ready? Who's got this today? Who's got your stretch a minute today? You got it? All right, so here, here we go. This is going to be fun. We're going to do some squats. We're going to do the lower body. We're going to pull this around our waist until it beeps. Now, there's many ways to do the squat with this. We're just doing one version of it today. We're just doing one version of it. Are you ready? All right, here we go. So I'm going to do this. It beeped, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to hold. Uh-huh, we're going to hold it. We're not going to do this mess. You can do that, but we're going to hold it. I come up when it beeps and back down and hold. Now we're talking. Keep your abs tight so you don't hurt your back. Like you're sitting in a chair with no chair. You feel those quads burning? The uh, studies have showed that static holds are better than the repetitious ones. This builds up more strength than going up and down, up and down. Much faster. Back up. Now you thought this wasn't going to be a workout. How many of you quads are burning? <laughs> So that's one round. We want to get four sets of that. How many of you did that with me and your quad started burning? Now listen, <laughs> I may be a, a you Harley Hick, but I love scientific journals. Scientific journals, exercise physiology, has proven over and over, Gina, that static holds like we just did build strength and tone much better than doing this. This is momentum, right? Nothing wrong with that. You can even do that for a minute with the stretch a minute. But the static holds will build better strength. Now we're going to go to our upper body. We're going to do some push-ups. Most of us know how to do what they call girl push-ups. We're going to start with that, okay? But we're going to do it not repetitiously or with momentum, but we're going to do the holds. So what we do, we're going to, if you can see me, <laughs> we're going to put our hands up. We're going to be on our knees, abs tight. We can do planks. We can do so much with this thing, y'all. You're not. Even, this is what we do today. Is five percent of what you can do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get it to beat, and then I'm gonna hold my push. I'm gonna go down and up and hold. Abs tight. Now, if you can do military style, do military style. 
Military style is this way. You can't do military, do it like this. Remember, abs tight. My form isn't too good because I'm trying to stay in the camera view. And we can do four rounds of that. Now, are some of the partners, are y'all familiar with the progressive exercise system? You need to look at that. That will build strength terrifically because you test and you put your test number in. Then it gives you a workout. Sandy, you gotta try it. I need you to do that, Sandy. Let me get my iPad and show you, and then we'll do our core, and then I'll let you go. <clears throat> okay, so, when you go to resources, not resources, I'm sorry. When you go to your dashboard, I went to dashboard and then I want to go to partner. This will also be in the faithfully fit section. And you can go on and ask them, Lara and Lisa to add it. But you've got your faithfully fit and partner sections, which we're combining. You can't see that too good but go to dashboard and then partner workouts. And you'll see these exercises. There you go. You'll see these exercises and it will give you a workout to complete every day. You don't have to do it every day, but it'll give you a new one and it won't progress you until you complete that workout. Okay, that's how you really build some functional strength. You'll really build functional strength. It, 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 it gives you a workout based upon where you're at in your current level of fitness. So let's close out today with some core movement, then we'll talk supplements. So we're gonna do it one, we're gonna do a plank. And you don't wanna just do one. You can get all this done in like 20 minutes and do more than what I'm doing. I'm talking a lot, but we're gonna do a plank. I'm on, y'all know what a plank is. You don't want your butt up here. You don't want it swayed. You want it straight, straight back, and we're gonna hold it. I know you can't see that good, but I think you probably know what a plank is. It just beat. Beat twice, 20 second hold. You want to work up to two minutes. <laughs> How many of you got it held? That's, that's 30 seconds. We want to work up to a two minute hold. We're going to do a one minute hold. Now let's say that you give in and you drop. As soon as you can, get back up. Keep your stretch a minute tight. Don't start over. Hold those abs tight. Don't let them droop. And that's a minute. And we're working up to two minutes in the first couple of months. That's how quick you can get, you can get stronger, you can maintain toneness. It's awesome. My voice went out, I'm sorry. It's a lot harder to do when you're talking. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody, let me get this back up and we'll finish up.
All right, I can see the comments now. How's everybody doing? Did you get some ideas? Bye, Bonnie. Everybody do good? So what we're going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're going to keep working through ideas, right? And then I'm going to teach you in about a week. I'll, this week we're learning the movements. Are y'all with me? Don't wait till next week. Do what you can now to familiarize yourself with some of the movements, okay? Next week, we'll start putting this in a, a workout format that's called the triangle, which makes working out fun. But this week, we're familiarizing ourselves. Now, don't forget your peak performance. You need nutrition more now than before. When we start exercising, we want to make sure we're filling in our nutrient deficiencies. The first thing that I'm going to do after this, I'm going to finish my workout off camera, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to have this sustain post-active because I want to get in the amino acids, but I want to get in the creatine. The creatine is going to give my muscles more tone and more strength and more endurance, and it's a fantastic weight management product. If you're doing creatine, this is the Michael Jordan of all exercise supplementation. If you're doing creatine though, Sandy, you'll temporarily put on a little bit of water weight, but it actually is going to help your metabolism. It's like taking one little, this is one of my tricks. It's like taking one little step back to go forward faster. So after every workout, I take sustain. Be careful buying other creatines because you don't absorb most of them and a lot of them are packaged around sugar to get them into the muscle. This technology doesn't need that. So that's, that's what I do. Couple of more things for, for my first eating episode. For my eating episode number one, I'll be doing a, because I'm in a hurry, I could do eggs or whatever, but I'm doing Simply Fit and Coco Ringa. That's a clean meal, gives me everything I need. If you're doing the detox with me, you didn't have to do the detox, but if you're doing the detox, don't forget, because you're not in the habit of doing it, to take your fiber packet, mix it with an approved beverage, three cubes of ice, get it, all that insoluble fiber in there so it can do its work. Go ahead and take your probiotics, and then before bed, do not forget the main catalyst, and that's the herbal tablets. You need those with a big glass of water a few hours before bedtime. And then if you do that for 10 days, it's going to amplify your ability to absorb nutrition, and you're going to feel better on day 11, okay, for those of you doing that. Any questions or comments before I go? Yes, we, we will be live at 1030. Uh, like normal, we'll be live at 10.30 a.m. This will serve um, as our Shibby Shine show for now on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll be doing the Shibby Shine show Tuesday and Thursday from my desk chair, and we'll talk about the things we've been talking about. Any questions? Any questions before we go? I, I hope, hey Allison, I hope that uh, that was helpful to you and you can start getting some ideas, but do remember it's all about the nutrition, okay? Yes, I take collagen and, and uh, Mela out at night. Kathy, none of that's mandatory if y'all are not doing that. Kathy and I are going the extra mile but I take my collagen once to twice a day. So um, I'll have collagen. I've been having two servings lately because I can tell such a difference in my back health uh, because of the collagen, but taking it once a day should be mandatory. If you got a lot of weight to lose and you want that skin elasticity, you need to be taking collagen boost. Need to be taking that one. 
that it shouldn't even be up for debate, really, but I know it is because everybody's used to being oversold. But if you do what I do, it would pay dividends. I'm sorry, Tammy can't hear me. It, everybody else can hear me though, right? All right, y'all. Let's close out in prayer and I'll see y'all at 1030. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, God, with a thankful heart. We come to you with thanksgiving that, God, we're even able to connect in this way. We take even technology for granted. I know that it can be used for evil, but it can also be used for good. And where two or three are gathered together, uh, two or three of us gathered together in spirit, we know that you're there. So we know that you're here with us now. Our hearts are bound together by this technology and by the spirit, and we're thankful for that. We're thankful that we have the life and breath in us to even do these exercises, God. We're so thankful to you for that this morning. And God, we come to you praising you for who you are, the great things that you're doing in our lives. Uh, God, you just never cease to amaze us. You bless us. You favor us. You give us second chances. God, you give us a million chances. And we're so thankful. We give up on ourselves long before you ever give up on us. You never give up on us, God. Lord, if there's any of us here that have gotten off the path and need to rededicate ourselves, God, let this be the good day where we decide to live, to exercise, to eat, to love, to do it all unto you, God. Let this be the day that our hope is renewed, our faith is renewed, and we get a new vision. And we write that vision plainly upon tablets that we may pursue it, God. You can help us with this. And, and just like we read today, God, uh, let us understand it's not about the shout. Before the shout comes, before the walls of Jericho fell while shouting, the real work was getting done in silence. Head down, being quiet, believing, having faith, and doing the work. God, let this be the year that we put in the work and we get this done, that we reinvent, we recreate, we resurrect. We know that you're the way, you're the truth, you're the life, and you are the resurrection. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. Remember those like Brenda and Jim and others who are going through much sickness and illness. Remember Sister Brenda, God. She herself has some health issues, and her, her husband is really struggling, God. Please be with her, be with Jim, but God, sometimes we forget to pray for the caretaker, and sometimes it's even harder on them than it is the one with the illness, and Brenda's struggling too with her health. God, remember them. Remember them. Bless them, God. Your faithful servants, bless them, God. Bless them, O oh Lord. We know with just a word, if we could just get to your tassels, if we could just get to the hem of your garment, we know that we would be made whole. Help us today. Go with us the rest of this day. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil. We rebuke the diet devil. And we say, get behind us, Satan. Uh, God, if any good things accomplished from any of our meetings today, we will bow our unworthy heads and give you the praise for it all. It's in Jesus' name that we humbly pray and beg. Amen and amen. All right, y'all. All right. I hope that helped you today. And we'll see you at 1030, Lord willing. Uh, don't forget Faithfully Fit Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Partners in Faithfully Fit at noontime and 7 p.m. We're working on the immune system. We started a course on the immune system and eating for immune health. That takes place on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon and 7. All right. God bless y'all. Have a beautiful day.